In this presentation, I will show you how to create a geoid model field file for a specific project area and specific ellipsoid types in Leica Infinity. To do this, we'll need to download some information. We'll need to download a geoid model, uh, an overall geoid model for the country or for the uh, uh, region that you're working. In this case, I am going to be working in the United States and in the uh, Northern Virginia area. So I have access like a My World, and I have went to the page for like a Geo Office. Under that page for like a Geo Office, I have access to Geoid 12B, which is the current uh, Geoid model here in, in the United States. I also have access to past Geoid models, including Geoid 12A, Geoid 09, and Geoid 03. If you don't have a copy of Leica Geo Office and you can't access this information in Leica My World, you could request these files from your Leica dealer or Leica Direct Sales representative or Leica Tech Support. And th that information would be provided to you. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my Geoid files for Geoid 12B. So to do that, I'll press download. I'll accept the prompt when it comes up, and the files are downloading. So the files are finished downloading and I have uh, stored those to a, an easy to find location on my hard drive and I've accessed Leica Infinity and I'm here at the main project screen. This is version uh, 2.2 and was recently released here in early 2017. And so to create a GeoID model field file, I would access the tools page and then the coordinate system page and, and once I'm here I'll select manager this brings me to my coordinate systems I can look at the geoid models that I have by pressing the geoid here or uh, in this case again we're creating a, a field file for a specific area so I will click on create geoid field file a couple of notes if you've downloaded the statewide geoid models uh, that are um, that are stored on like a my world uh, you could use those to create uh, a geoid model field file for a specific area within in this case the state of maryland so i could say create geoid mill uh, field file use that geoid model as my source and create a, uh, a smaller region inside the space if if uh, inside the state so you might do this if a storage space is a premium on your receiver or I'm sorry on your on your data collector um, or if you know you're only going to be working uh, in in a small area around an office location and you don't want to maintain the larger files uh, on your data collector uh, but for this example what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use uh, the nationwide uh, GOI 12b files to create a specific project location and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to use this geoid field file um, with a coordinate system that requires that I use an, a GS uh, a WGS 84 ellipsoid so to start the process again what I would do is I would click on create geoid model field file and then I would need to s select the box here where it says geoid model this is my source file and so what I want to do is I want to pull the arrow down here and I want to go to the bottom of the box and select the source file. And this is, uh, then I'll select the path where I've stored my geoid model. Now in this case I've isolated all the geoid models that I've downloaded over the years into a folder called geoids and then this one that I downloaded today, geoid 12b, I stored here. And I will select the executable file for that and this executable file is a program that's written by Leica we've used this in Leica Geo Office we also use it here in Leica Infinity and what that does is samples the broader geoid model uh, to create our files so I'm going to select that press open and then I'm going to specify the coordinate type now again I want to create a geoid model using the WGS84 ellipsoid so I'm going to set my coordinate type to geodetic then I'm going to select my ellipsoid. I'm going to uh, select the WGS84 ellipsoid and I know in the process here that I want uh, this GOI model to be applied on the local side. So I'm going to select the box here. Now we have the option of setting 
the size or the area for our model. We can do that by doing the bounds and in this case we would specify a latitude and a longitude for the southwest corner and the northeast corner. I prefer to do a center and a radius and that's just because I only want to pick one latitude and longitude for my uh, for the area I'm working in. So what I'll do here is I'll type in my latitude. Now one thing to note even though we have our uh, angle set here to degrees, minutes, and seconds. When I type in my latitude, type in 3905, what's going to happen is that's going to be converted from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. So if you want to get to a fairly exact center of your, of your um, model, then you would need to convert that. But um, in this case, this is close enough. The other thing I need to realize is if I want to put in a west longitude, I would need to press minus and type that in and I'll get a west longitude. And then I need to specify a radius, how big an area we're going to cover. And our limit here is 100,000 meters. Uh, the bigger the radius, the bigger the size of the file that you're creating and the more, of course, more storage space that it takes up on your data collector. So I've specified my radius. So the other thing I need to do now is to scroll down and select where I'm going to put the file. So I'll select File Path here. As you notice, I've already created a GOE model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this one. You, need to, you want to name this something uh, that you can remember. In this case, I'm going to call it Nova. This is in the Northern Virginia area, and that's uh, the typical one of the names that's used for the region. I'm going to specify the GOE model used, in this case 12B, and I'll also specify the ellipsoid. And this helps me when I import this into my Captivator Viva unit. I, I know uh, some of the information about the unit uh, easily without having to go in and, and edit the parameters or something like that to look deeper for it. So what I'll do is specify that and press OK. And the last thing you need to do is press Create. And it will take uh, several seconds for this GOE model file to be created. Once you're done, you can move this to your Captivator Viva unit and attach it to your coordinate system.